Hello everyone, today I am going to explain about the average information or the entropy. So here the average information or the entropy can be represented with the capital H. Okay, so here to calculate this average information we have this formula that is entropy H is equal to summation K is equal to 1 to M P suffix K log of 1 by P K to the base 2. Okay, so now I am going to uh, explain about how we will get this formula, right? So to derive that formula here, I will consider, I am going to consider here a source that will emit uh, M messages of M1, M2 and so on, MM with probabilities P1, P2 and so on, PM and the else message sequence, okay? So consider an M message, consider M message emitter from the source with probabilities P1, P2 and so on, PM and L sequence is transmitted. So here the L message sequence is transmitted by the source and that consists of uh, M1, M2 and so on, MM messages with probabilities P1, P2 and so on, PM. Okay. So here I have L message sequence. In that L message sequence, I may have N number of uh, M1 messages or N1 number of uh, uh, M2 messages and so on. Okay. So therefore, this L message sequence consists of uh, some number of M1 messages and number of M2 messages and so on, number of MM messages. Okay. So therefore, here we will calculate we will calculate what is the number of M1 messages or the messages M1 messages count. Okay. So, how we can find out an M1 message count or M2 message count or M3 message number and so on MK message number. So, here for that one, if I know the probability of the occurrence of that message, so I can easily calculate how many number of messages will be present. M1 messages how many number, M2 messages how many number and at the same time MK messages how many number. Okay, so now I will calculate the first one is the number of M1 messages in L message sequence. Okay, number of M1 messages in L message sequence. Okay, I already told that in this L message sequence we have some number of M1 messages, M2 messages and so on, MK messages are there. Okay, so I will calculate here how many number of M1 messages present in my L message sequence. That is equal to the probability of occurrence of that message multiply with the total L message sequence. So, this consists of L messages, that is L message sequence consists of total L messages. So, your sequence is equal to, uh, that is uh, P1 multiply with uh, L, okay. So, this is the number of M1 messages that is present uh, in the L message sequence, okay. Now, I will calculate how many number of uh, M2 messages that will be present in, in L message sequence, okay. For that one, so the number of M2 messages in L message sequence is the probability of occurrence of that M2 message multiplied with L. Okay, that is P2 into L. So this is the number of M2 messages that will be present in this L message sequence. Now and so on, I will take uh, MK message. Okay, how many number of MK messages that are present in L message sequence with probability of occurrence, suppose it is PK. So, therefore, the total number of MK messages will be equal to PK multiplied with L. Okay. So, here we have calculated how many number of M1 messages will be present, how many number of M2 messages will be present and so on, how many number of MK messages will be present in L message sequence. Now, in the next step, what I will calculate is and how much information that will be carried by this M1 messages, M2 messages and so on, MK messages, we have to calculate. Okay, so here the amount of information 
carried by or the amount of information carried by a message mk with probability pk is nothing but the amount of information carried by mk message with probability pk is mk message with probability pk is that is ik is equal to log of 1 by pk to the best so this is the point what we have discussed in the previous discussion so that is the amount of information carried by the message mk with probability of occurrence pk is that is ik is equal to log of 1 by pk to the best okay so this formula we are going to use to calculate the information carried by total number of m1 messages m2 messages and so on mk messages okay for that one first i will consider here the amount of information carried by m1 message with probability of p1 so here if you consider here in place of k that is equal to 1 means the i1 is equal to log of 1 by p1 to the best like that so the information carried by this message m1 is nothing but log of 1 by p1 to the best so this is the information carried by only one m1 message okay but we have l into p1 number of m1 messages okay then what is the total information carried by all the m1 messages is nothing but uh, suppose for this one one pen cost is 5 rupees how you can calculate uh, the 10 pens cost is nothing but 10 into 5 that is 50 okay similarly here also this m1 message carries this much of information okay then then i have l into p1 number of m1 messages then what is the total information carried by them okay is equal to the total number of m1 messages multiply with the, the information carried by each m1 message therefore p1 l multiply with log of 1 by p1 to the base 2 and the total information i am taking as i1 okay similarly the total information carried by this i2 that is the total information carried by the m2 messages is nothing but the total number of m2 messages is p2 into l and the each m2 message will carry the this much of information that is log of 1 by p2 to the base 2 so this is for single m2 message then we have this much of number that is p2 into l so the total information carried by this m2 messages is equal to p2 into l multiplied with the log of 1 by p2 to the base 2 similarly i can calculate the total amount of information carried by the mk messages so therefore the amount of information carried by pk multiply with l number of mk messages is ik that is equal to total number of mk messages that is pk into l and it is multiplied with uh, the information carried by single mk message so that is nothing but log of 1 by pk to the base 2 okay so now here we have i1 i2 and so on ik so that means total number of m1 messages carried information is i1 m2 message carries information of i2 and m3 messages carried information of i4 i3 and so on i mk messages will carries the information of ik okay then what is the total we have is nothing but the total information carried by the l message sequence is equal to i1 plus i2 plus and so on i m okay so therefore here the let i total is the total information carried by the l message sequence okay total information carried by the l message sequence therefore i total is equal to the information carried by m1 messages m2 messages and m3 messages and so on mm message that is m messages mth message so therefore it is i1 plus i2 plus and so on i m so therefore if i add all these things i1 plus i2 plus i k so we'll get what that is i total is equal to 
P1 L log of 1 by P1 that is the total information carried by the M1 messages and this is the total information carried by the M2 messages and so on the total information carried by the MK messages okay so I can write uh, because it is the addition is there for each term here so I can use the summation here okay so I can represent in the sigma form or summation form therefore I total is equal to here k is equal to 1 to m because here we have m message okay so therefore summation k is equal to 1 to m and l is here the common one so l and pk p1 p2 p1 p2 and so on pk is there so I will use the variable here k that is l multiplied with the pk and the same time log of 1 by pk to the base 2 because here everywhere we have log of 1 by p1 log of 1 by p2 log of 1 by pk like that we have therefore we will use the common term that is log of 1 by pk so here k is the variable and k is equal to 1 to m if you expand also you will get the same thing because k is equal to 1 means l p1 log of 1 by p1 to the base 2 k is equal to 2 means plus sigma is there so plus we will use so k is equal to 2 means it is p2 log of 1 by p2 to the base 2 and so on ok so if you write this in form of in the form of uh, sigma you will get the i total as like this ok so that is about the total information carried by the message sequence that is l message sequence ok then what is the average information or what is entropy formula ok generally average how you can calculate so suppose if you want to calculate uh, uh, three numbers that is 1 plus 1 comma 2 comma 3 the average of these three numbers means what that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is total by the number number is what three numbers ok so this is the average so similarly here we, I have to calculate uh, the average information I have to calculate the average information or entropy H that means what the total information to the total messages total number of messages that is present in the L message sequence so here the total information is this one that is equal to summation K is equal to 1 to M L P K log of 1 by P K to the base 2 ok so that this one I will substitute here in place of total information and now here we have number of messages in L sequence so here L messages will be present that is in L sequence so therefore the total information is this one summation k is equal to 1 to m L p k p sub x k log of 1 by p sub x k to the base 2 by the total number of messages is L so this L and L will be cancelled therefore what is the final equation we got so that is average information or entropy that is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to m p sub x k log of 1 by p k to the base 2. So this is about the entropy calculation or the formula for the average information or the entropy. Ok. So that is equal to h is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to m p k log of 1 by p k to the base 2. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.